right, all right, it delivered crazy. Oh, this looks like super expert garbage. This is actually CP0. All right, JC me trolling. JC is a, uh, a Mario Maker streamer and really, really, really fucking good at the game. <laughs> Let's do it. Do you ever watch on YouTube and just think, how did I miss that? I do. All right, we're gonna start this over again because I'm not paying any attention. Uh, looks like we're doing a shell jump. Well, almost got it. <laughs> I haven't had a shell jump in so long, I wanna actually do it. No, I wanna actually do it. Give me my shell jump. No, I'm bad, I'm doing it too soon. Yeah, oh. <laughs> Well, I knew something was gonna happen. Okay, what am I actually supposed to do? Oh, it's a helmet. <laughs> it's a helmet, and I still sucked. Yay. Carl binge watches Carl's video like the rest of us. Uh, obviously I hit this. Bye. <laughs> well, shit, what was I supposed to do? Hmm. I think I just do this fast? Oh, that's not what I do. Is this gonna blow up if I get close to it? No. You're clearly, oh, it's jumping. Okay, do I want this Yoshi? Yeah, it looks like I need him. What if I hit the blue thing first? <laughs> so I was thinking, Maybe if I hit the blue thing first, it'll like bring the Yoshi to the top and then I won't get bodied by whatever inevitable troll is about to eat my ass. Oh! Well, I would have eaten my ass no matter what. I think I jump. I think I get on it and jump. Ooh! Okay. Oh god, you get like sucked. Okay. No! How do I not die? What is the status of my ass? It is currently getting eaten. It's currently getting yeaten. Okay, what if we... Something, something, something... Something, 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 something... Something, something... Something, something... Something, something... Something... Wait, what am I doing? There's a spring in there somewhere. Oh, I can get it! Now, is it just one spring? Or is it two spring? How many sprang is in there? I think I've, I think I've de-spranginated. Okay, jeez, if I got sprang, that was gonna be mad. All right, uh, kill? No. Yoshi lives matter, all right? Well, fine then. Fine then. Fine, we'll be murderers. Sorry, Yoshi. I'll come back for you later. <laughs> oh, it makes two Yoshis and the mushroom doesn't do that. Okay, um, this looks bad. I guess I need the mushroom, but... Uh, 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 uh. <gasps> no, did I need the star? No, I didn't need the star. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was like a double fake out. I don't think I needed the star. I don't think. Oh, no wonder. By the way, I just realized why the clear rate of this level was so low. I was like, holy shit, 0.8% is pretty, like, it's not that low, but it's low for a Berg level. You know, I was like, it's like Berg's levels usually aren't that bad. I figured out why the clear rate's so low. It's because Jez just played it. Boom! Suffered third degree burns. Boom! I forgot about the fucking sprint. In before I lower the clear rate. In before I lower. Do I want the star? I don't even know if I want it. Again, the star. And then we go up. That's a dick. Uh, this is fine. This is. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> oh! Wait, what? 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 Is this a glitch? What? What is this checkpoint? What is this checkpoint? How do you? He wouldn't. He wouldn't. He wouldn't. 
He did! Is this a faked checkpoint? Why you can't get out of it! How did he upload it? How did he upload it? What is this fucking checkpoint? How did he upload it? I think you actually have to... Yeah, that is why the clear rate is so low. That is why that... We just racked up like 10 deaths on that. Shit. Shit. We gotta be Juz. What is the game plan here? Oh, fuck that. Go away! Go away, you son of a bitch! <laughs> okay, I think I have to just run really fast. I think I have to just run. Oh, shit. Let's do it. I think we just run fast. <laughs> Why did that not happen before? Okay, go up here, do the thing, go fast there, wait for us. <gasps> Why is this killing me now? I think I got like the perfect timing the first time. Uh, uh. Okay, I think we like do a left, right. Why did this doesn't work? This does not work anymore. I did it I, twice. I just ran. But then just running killed me. Like, the level's changing. The level is changing. Oh. I should probably jump, shouldn't I? Yeah, I should probably jump, shouldn't I? Okay. Jump. Fight, fight back! I just, I jumped, I jumped! I swear I jumped. Like a not idiot. No, 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 wait, wait, no, I tried to win! With the star thing, it's so hard to slow down. Okay. I need this guy to... Wait, no, I wanted to- I'm so dumb, I wanted to not go down. I need to just run through that. I'm getting confused about what part I'm on, blah, blah, blah. Excuses, excuses, stop judging me. Die, please, please. <gasps> go, 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 please don't- No! All right, we're gonna do this. Like the graceful, elegant player of Super Mario's that I am. Where's the fish? Where's the fish? What is... It doesn't... What? How does it time with the star? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, the P-switch must go off right when the star gets? How is that possible? It must be when you go to, like, the next area? I don't know. Oh, there's the P-switch. Well, I don't know how that's gonna work. We gotta get over here. Maybe we wait right here. I think this is the play. Uh, okay, there's a second fish, Berg! All right, no second fish. This is fine. No! Oh, we didn't get it. Do we get a checkpoint? We still haven't, we still haven't got a checkpoint. Where's the checkpoint at? Come on. What if like, oh, there's the checkpoint right there. Okay, there's the checkpoint right there. Ugh! Oh my gosh, how do you do? Oh, I think I was actually supposed to, I jumped. I think if I hadn't jumped, I would have been on the conveyor, question mark, question mark, smiley face. I think I have to pick this up. Oh. <sighs> Okay. Oh, don't. Something's gonna... Oh, what is this? What is this? What is this? Isn't the check... <gasps> Bird! What is this? I don't... I shouldn't go in the door, right? There's... I shouldn't go in the door. The checkpoint's right there. No! I got sucked into it! <clears throat> Berg! Uh, I think I'm just gonna run left. Yeah, that's all I need to do. Man. No. I forgot about it. Okay, go in the door. If this door doesn't give me the CP. <gasps> do I just go back through the do I think I just go back th No, do I? I think I just go back through the door. Girl, bad. No, I, I, every time I forget about the fish. Okay, I think I go back in the door. Go back in the door. Back in the door. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Finally, an actual real checkpoint. Jeez. Who would have thought that it's so hard to get an actual real checkpoint in a fucking Mario level, Berg? All right. Um, I'm going in this pipe. 
If this pipe takes me back to the checkpoint... I should've gotten in the door. I should've gotten in the door. Why was the first checkpoint fake? You literally... Well, that's weird. What is even happening? I want to watch that in slow motion. Okay, just goes flying. I think we go in the... No, we don't go in the... Do I go in the door? We're going in the door. Did I come... No, what is... Do I want to be here? CP0. This is CP0. You can't. You can't do it. No, we're gonna. Okay, I gotta get out of here. We're gonna lower the clear rate. We're gonna lower the clear rate. We gotta get out. We gotta get out. Checkpoint. The last time I'll be seeing this shit. Also, what's down here? Nothing. Oh, that's that door. Okay. Great. Are there currently any cures to HPV? No, there's a vaccine that's pretty good against a lot of the strains, though. So you should definitely get the vaccine. Uh, door is bad, right? We're gonna go this way. Wait, can I even... Oh, I can! Don't do this shit to me! Oh, I don't like anything about this. Oh. <laughs> okay, I think we... Do that! Are them... Fuck you. Fuck you! You can't do this to me twice! You can't do this shit to me twice! What's gonna happen this time? I'm just gonna ride it. <sighs> I think I was actually supposed to ride it. I think I was supposed to ride it, but I rode too long. Uh... Wow, that is total bullshit. Look at that, you can't even get out. <gasps> Bye. <laughs> Bye. I can't believe this shit. I want to see what Jez did there. At least maybe he did that dumber than me and I can make fun of him for that. No! Am I supposed to go in that clown car down there? I don't think so, because it's rub It's against the wall, right? So I can't go into it. I don't know. This level's hard. This level's hard, Berg. If we get another CP, this is going to be the hottest, fastest ban of all time. Like, this is going to be one of those, like, ha-ha, Carl's playing around bans. This is going to be like a... <laughs> it goes so high! It goes so high! <laughs> Oh no! Okay. I just realized I was in an anti soft lock. Oh my god, it goes so high. It goes so high. I don't know. I've got an idea. There are ideas percolating in the brain hole. We're gonna try the ideas. We're gonna just. No, it does kill you! I was thinking maybe it won't kill me, and then that thing would go up, and then I could go down? Okay, let's do this, and then. No, 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 no! What do I do? I don't know what I'm doing! What am I doing? Do we need... So yeah, maybe it is a momentum jump. I don't know, that's what I tried to do first and then I sucked at it and then I stopped doing it. <laughs> oh! Can you get in that door? I don't know if you can get in a door like that. The clown car is death. I'm 99% sure the clown car is death. Well, that's not how you do that. Because when you're when a clown car is near a wall, you can't get into it. Okay. Save. No. <laughs> What's gonna happen? It's oh, it, it's gonna go back to where no, nah, it, it can't. I I don't think it is. It's okay. It's gonna go back to that same spot, and there are spikes below me. So. I think it's a fake out, it's not gonna be real, there's gonna be some shenanigans that happen, and I don't need to be on the Yoshi. That's not the same door. That is a very suspicious door. Yeah, bullshit. I'm just jumping over that shit. 
Bullshit. Oh, I don't like this. I don't want to do that. What's the... How am I going to get out of this? I don't want to do this. Oh, maybe I can hide here? <laughs> Bye. This is weird. Very weird. But no, I didn't... <laughs> Bounce on the first one. Yeah, it was that Sadie level, Jaws. It was insane. Okay, what do I do here? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Where, like, shit just floats across the screen. Oh, shit. Got the boost still. Uh, I'm assuming we go up here. Uh, do I want that somehow? Is there a weird world in which I want to hit that? Oh god, where do I go? I didn't see- I didn't look at what was down there. Bye. Bye. No, I didn't even get to see what happens! Okay, let me actually take a look at what is going on here. That looks like some bullshit down there. It looks like you could jump to the right of it. But couldn't I just drop down? It looks like, like, why would I ever go down there when I can just drop down? I don't see any point in going over there. What's the point of going over there? It's gonna be some bullshit, but... Uh! Pretty sure I know how to count, and that is a fucking CP3! <laughs> uh, I think we figured out how the other one is fake. <laughs> Does it work? Does it work? Can you put three CPs in and have it? No, I don't. Fuck that. No. No! Come on! Oh my god! I didn't even get to try one. I, I want to know. Okay, so clearly there is magic, voodoo magic that lets you make more than two checkpoints. But do they work? Do they actually work? I mean, you know, the other one was bullshit, but it, like, I restarted from it. You know, it worked like a checkpoint should work. Okay, so I guess there's gonna be some bullshit where this doesn't kill me. <laughs> hold, hold on, hold on just a minute here. Okay, I have to know. I have to know. I have to do this. <laughs> yes, this is, yeah, this is <laughs> gets better after third checkpoint. It's never had so much meaning. Well, that is a weird setup. That is, this level has some crazy setups. All right, well, I can't go. I, I'm, I'm, I'm holding the fucking up button. What? This is a fucking car box with fake doors in it. This is, <laughs> this is actually lunar magic. This is now a ROM hack. This is like map 16 ROM hack bullshit. You just put fake shit in your level. <laughs> you just put fake shit in your level. Not exactly sure. Oh no. <laughs> no. Okay, I think we just do this. Do I get that feather? Probably not. <laughs> I don't think I get that feather. Ugh. I'm bad at jumping. Almost as sweet as Ruby. <laughs> okay, uh, well this, can I get this? Oh, I could have. Oh shit, I could have gotten that. I, I don't know if I would want it though. I mean, this seems straightforward. Oh shit. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, I think I actually do do that. Do I want the cape? Probably not. Let us, I, I, what do you guys think? Should I get that? I don't think it's gonna help. Ooh. Oh, it would, that would kill you. You can't get it. Oh, it's to make you think you can get it, but I was, oh, too dumb to even do that. Okay. No. Ugh. Is there any connection between vaccines and autism? No, it was uh, basically made up by some dude, Andrew Wakefield, with who has now had his medical license revoked, basically did a bunch of bullshit, shoddy experiments, and the stuff that he published got removed from... No! I think I have to jump. 
um, got, got, got removed from the journal that it was, the science journal that it was published in. And it's just all complete bullshit. There have been studies that have looked at like literally millions and millions of people with all sorts of different vaccines. And honestly, the guy was just peddling his own vaccine. You know, he was saying like, this one causes autism, but this one that I'm working on is great. So like it was, it, it's, it's, it absolutely goes to show you, it's like a meme, you know, it's like, it like went viral and it was never, it, it was never based on anything interesting. It wasn't even what the guy was, he, the guy was never even saying that like all vaccines are bad. He was literally just saying, take my vaccine instead of this alternative one. And yet it like blew up into this thing that like has a mind of its own. It's so weird and crazy to me how society like warps shit. And it's like, you're fighting misinformation that wasn't even the original misinformation. Like, it doesn't even make sense. It, it doesn't even make sense. It, like, it never needed to be a thing. And it has just done so much harm. It's just absolutely stupid. Yeah, it's like, it's like f to counteract misinformation, it requires like tenfold more effort than it does to spew misinformation. And it is like, it is like an actual problem with the world right now. <laughs> like a general problem with humanity right now is how much harder it is to counteract misinformation than it is to put it out. Uh, okay, I think I needed that shell, so fuck me. <laughs> fuck me. Hey, could you softlock right there? Couldn't, couldn't you softlock if you were to jump into these? Not that I want to find out or anything. <laughs> Not that I want to find out or anything. How have we come this far as a society given how dumb we are? I mean, we've, we've gotten better. <laughs> we've gotten better, have we though? <laughs> I mean, I think so. I don't know. I, like, every time I actually read, like thoroughly read history, not the like reading history through, you know, whatever fucking lens that is trying to like feel super good about their heritage, but like actual history. Ruby, you're helping. Like, shit used to suck. <laughs> shit pretty much sucked. For, by every possible metric. You know, like, I'm complaining about misinformation now, but, like, look at the propaganda campaigns, you know, even just in World War One and World War Two and stuff. I think stuff has gotten better. There's 7.5 billion of us that are all dumb, emotional, sensational monkeys. Yeah, pretty much. He, I, think, I think culture and society has mostly gotten better, but humans have obviously stayed the same. Okay, uh, I think we need to do this, 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 and then this. And then hopefully magic will happen now and we'll beat the level. It's gonna be great. Look at us, beating the level. Look at us, we're fine. Beating the level, done, motherfucker. Okay. I don't like this, I'm out. <laughs> I'm out, I'm out, you can't do that to me, I'm fu- No. Do we go down the pipe? Or do we jump into the photo booth? Do we go down the pipe? Or do we just end it without knowing and just get in that photo booth's ass? Do we eat that photo booth ass hard? Or do we go down the pipe? <laughs> I want to know how evil Berg is, all right? I want to know how evil Berg is. I'm going down the pipe. Surely he wouldn't do it again. That's the same, no, that's CP2. No, that's CP2, right? No, he did do it. He didn't CP1, but he fucking CP2'd. Oh. Burr, he's getting banned until Mario Maker 2 comes out. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Wait, how's he still talking? Wait, he's Berg 93. Wait, I just banned the wrong Berg. Wait, I'm sorry, Berg. That was the wrong bird! Unbanned bird! That was the wrong bird! Alright, there we go, there we go. Berg 93. There's fucking 93 of them, alright? Countering misinformation is the importance of teaching scientific literacy. It isn't about the information itself, it's about empowering the individual to think critically about information provided in order to decide if it is true or not. Preach. <laughs> A fucking men to that, because you can never... You can never correct all the misinformation that people can throw. 
All you can do is teach people how to actually decide for themselves without just like going on Facebook, reading something that like tickles their emotional boxes. You know, it just like checks off the right emotional boxes and then they're like, yeah, I'm just gonna believe that because my friends do and blah, blah. Okay, wait, now beat the fucking love the Kill me, please kill me, please kill me. Thank you. How do I not die? Oh, I have to stay under. I have to stay under. Like, okay, the thing is, is that everybody thinks, like everybody likes to think, you know, I am a smart person. I'm not gonna get fooled by misinformation. I'm not gonna get baited by people playing on my emotions into thinking a certain way. You know, everybody likes to think that it's not gonna be them and that they're smart and then they're not gonna fall for that. And that's fucking bullshit. Like it is extremely hard. Right, what is, like what, literally what is advertising? Why do people spend billions and billions of dollars consistently on advertising? Because it fucking works. Because you can play with people's emotions. You can manipulate people. Am I gonna win by just running through here? Get me the fuck out. I don't want anything to do with those pipes. I want anything to do with any of that shit. One of the information was, was that not getting vaccines cause autism. Would that be better or... Oh, do you mean like using misinformation to try to teach people to do like the even like to do a good thing even though you're doing it through misinformation like i'd rather it never has to come to that you know i would rather that like people actually learn how to think about stuff themselves and then if they did they would if they learned how to actually critically analyze evidence and figure things out then they would realize that it's obvious that vaccines don't cause autism and that they're one of the best public health measures that humanity's ever invented um, rather than, you know, just trying to get people to believe it by telling it to them. Morally, that's just disgusting. Yeah, exactly. No, yeah, I agree. People need to, the only solution, in my opinion, is, is learning about cognitive biases, learning why we get, why it's so easy for humans to get sucked into doing things. Like, fuck, man, marketing and advertisers have that shit down to a science. Like, that's why the company spends so much money doing it, because it works. Yeah, logical fallacies is a great way to go with it, too. And just learning how fallible our minds are. Like, our, it's the same reason why, like, in courtrooms, eyewitness testimony is hot garbage. All right, people, like, people, people's brains, it, it is a fundamentally, like, not pleasant thought, or at least it can be, to think that your brain, your perception, the way that you see the world is not 100% accurate all the time, and that you can genuinely believe something, and it can be a memory that never actually existed. James Randi is fantastic, yeah, James Randi's awesome. If you want to look up some of this stuff, James Randi's a great place to start. Speaking of vaccines, why do you think more people object to the government requiring more vaccines? Well, I would rather the government didn't have to, but, you know, maybe at the end of the day, like, maybe at the end of the day, like, you know, it's a public health problem, so we, you know, you can't kill people. Well, not getting vaccines is basically killing people. Uh, I went his testimony as the super expert of the legal system, 99% garbage with the rare decent piece. Let's see, I also heard that some people became anti-vax because they heard of someone who knew someone who got bad effects. Yeah, no, exactly. Is that a thing, getting a bad illness from vaccine? So basically, no. The problem is that, so the problem is, is that vaccines happen when children are at a point in their life where lots of things start to surface. And we are, man, we are great at, ca at causation and correlation. You know, if you do something and then something else happens afterwards, we are great at connecting the dots between those two things and saying that that thing must have caused it just because it preceded it in time the pro and, and that that has been a great survival strategy throughout all of our life but that's also why you end up pe with people doing like a fucking rain dance you know and thinking that it's going to make it rain that is why in before like sports games people develop like all sorts of crazy superstitions, you know, that they think like, oh, if I wear this certain thing, if I do this certain thing, because they did it once and then it worked and they do it again. It's like gamblers do this too. Um, yeah, correlation causation fallacy. So that is literally the cause of why so many people think that, because there are people out there who are going to take, you know, when you vaccinate a hundred million people, there is somebody, there is like somebody out there who's going to take their kid in, they're going to get a vaccine, and then that kid is going to fucking drop dead the next day. And for that person, it fucking sucks, you know? It is really hard to not think 
that that was caused by the vaccine. And that is why that sort of critical thinking is like really, <laughs> you know, is, I don't know, is, is really necessary, but really fucking hard at the same time. Um, it's already a use requirement to give your children certain vaccines and New York has just removed an exemption. Yeah, based on religious beliefs. I think that it's important because for vaccines, you're not just like, I'm all about freedom, but when you're fucking other people, that's when it crosses the line. Yeah, cargo cult, that was it. There's a girl on Jeopardy who wouldn't wear shoes ever because she won something without them. Laughed so hard when she lost. Rip. Yeah. I mean, there is, now that, that being said, there are things to be said for, you know, for placebos and for things that mentally make you feel, you know, more prepared for something. Uh, and those things can have real effects on your performance. And, and that, I don't know, psychology is really interesting. So like, I, if I didn't do like the science that I'm doing, psychology is really fucking interesting. All right, what's that clear rate? No, it dropped! It actually dropped! The clear rate actually dropped. Um, but we don't know the extent to whether placebos are due to people taking uh, care of themselves when they're in an experiment setting or whether there's actually a psychological mechanism. Well, you're talking about for like actual medical things, whereas I'm talking about more for like performance. You know, like if you have, if you have anxiety on a test, you're going to do worse on that test. And if believing in something that's not true necessarily um, makes you not have that anxiety because you think you're going to do great because you, you know, did X superstitious belief. If it stops your anxiety, then that's, you know, a direct benefit you're going to get for taking that test. So at least in that, ca in that, at least in that case, you know, placebos can pretty obviously have real effects when the thing we're talking about is psychological. Okay, so first thing, look at this, look at that. Did you guys see that? Uh, hold on, I'm actually gonna go back into the level and come back out. Okay, look at the, look at the position of the CP. Uh, this, this thing right here. See this, this is showing where the CP is? Well, watch it. It just moved right there. <laughs> it just moved right there. What happens if I, and now the CP moved back. <laughs> And now this CV move back. Yeah, so that's a fucking glitch. <laughs> Here, wait, I want to try something. Oh, shit, come back. Okay, we have this, we have this fucking checkpoint. What happens if I just go and like... Wait, where's the other checkpoint? Where is the other checkpoint? Oh, it's right here. <laughs> Oh, they're kissing. <laughs> All right, I mean, makes sense to me. I see nothing wrong with this. Uh, I see nothing wrong with this. Okay, like, doesn't let you make new shit. This trick is cool. This is the thing where the invisible block, I don't know where the, oh. Oh, it's this, inv it's this invisible block right here. Where the invisible block, like, will hit it and it'll make them sink. It's kind of crazy. Does this go flying away to victory somewhere up here? Oh, it just disappears. It's so weird. Let me make sure this would have killed me. Yeah, it would have killed me. <laughs> okay, these are all the same door. That obviously makes sense. They're literally all the same door. What happens if I delete one of them? <laughs> what the fuck? This makes all sorts of sense. Wait, only two of them went away that time. Hold on. Only two of them went away that time, but I still can't go in that one. What happens if I delete this one? <laughs> the other two. What the fuck? It's like whack-a-mole with doors. <laughs> Warning, work in progress area by Sadie. I heard this is crazy. I, I was promised crazy. I'd better be delivered crazy. Yoshi, chomp. That chomp can fly. <laughs> okay. All right, all right, it delivered crazy. It delivered crazy. What the fuck just happened? Crazy was delivered. Excuse me, that thing is just like. <laughs> Bye. My people need me. Oh my God, dude. Oh, made it. All right, that was dope. That was dope. <laughs> oh, it does it to every, oh, I'm. I thought that that was a normal floor. I didn't see the spikes. I didn't see the spikes. But at least we get to watch this again. Okay, it doesn't just work for chomps. Go on. <laughs> wait, can I? Oh wait, I didn't see that thing because I'm blind. 
Okay, uh, bouncy, bouncy. More? I think I have to reset. What is it? What comes out of this one? <laughs> Galoomba friend. All right. Oh my gosh, how many things? How has this not been discovered? Oh, it's gonna jump right in. Wait, it, it like gets stunned until it... Wait, am I going up? Oh, I am going, holy shit. I'm glad I went up here. I almost went down. I was just dove down the pit. <laughs> How is this just being discovered? Mario Maker 2 comes out in two weeks. And this is the shit that people are still doing in Mario Maker 1. How? 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 What the f Okay, someone, as soon as Mario Maker 2 comes out, somebody's gotta try this shit. We'll look in, we'll look in the editor real quick after this. Oh, let's hit the check mark to see what the setup is. But the setup looks... Oh my god, it looks pretty straightforward. Key? Did I get a key somewhere? <laughs> I don't think that's supposed to do that. Oh, does the key just like, lol? Okay. That thing like teleports through that and then it slides around. There's a, there's a whole lot of weird stuff going on. All right, we got to look that in the editor real quick because I don't see anything like super complicated with the setup, which makes me wonder why wasn't this discovered sooner? Hmm. Go world lube applied via note blocks. <laughs> yeah, that is pretty much world lubed. <laughs> the entire world just gets super, super slippery and everything just slips and slides around. Okay, I'm pretty sure that there is a Yoshi egg hatching under a note block with something getting spit into it. So I think the only key here is the Yoshi egg is fucking it up. Now, why the hell does that happen? <laughs> okay, I got a, I got a question. Is, is it not the case that if I put like, let's say I put this here, and then I put something else in here, like I think an enemy will do it. Even I think a mushroom would maybe do it too. Now does this, oh, it doesn't actually hit it. Now if you see with this, only the Yoshi egg is like actually hitting that block from below. What happens if I put Mario in it though? Because Mario does hit it. Mario hits it too fast for stuff. Oh, he, something can't come out while Mario is that close to it. Will anything else push up a note block like the like the egg does? Maybe that's the key. Is nothing else like pushes it from below except Mario and Yoshi's. That's so weird. So the Yoshi egg. Yeah, Yoshi hits it. Okay, here's here's the Carl plan. All right. <laughs> Come back, Yoshi. It's a good plan. It's a good plan. Put on X equals nine. All right, hit me, motherfucker. All right, see, look. Now the Yoshi does that. Does this cause it to happen? It just kills it. Okay, so this doesn't make it. It's something special with the egg. It's something special with the egg. This this shit makes no sense. Yeah, it's, it might have something to do with the timing. It's just the right timing. Yeah, it might be. Oh. So, uh, I guess if you don't go through the door, then it won't work right? If that makes sense. Like, let's say I just, let's say I have this thing right here, and I just, like, rather than coming in the door, if I just run to it. So, like, will it only work if I go from the door? Will this work? It doesn't work. It still boops it up, though. Okay, so it's like you gotta load in right here. Wow, that's weird. This is Thank Mr. Skell Troll by Tim Butt. A fantastic troll maker. What's he got for us? That is a skeleton if I ever... Oh, I'm stuck up here. I'm not waiting for this shit. I just wanted to listen. I just wanted to listen. I'm good at jumping. Yeah, is that a slow megalovania? We definitely got a sans going on here. How do I get through here? <laughs> already don't know what to do. Ooh. Huh. Well, if it's sans, does this mean I just don't do anything? Spoilers, y'all. What do I do? <laughs> uh, am I missing something? Maybe I'm already fucked?
Okay, we have we have clearly missed something. I was appreciating the scenery. Oh! You you move forward. <laughs> troll me once. Hmm. But what if it's a reverse troll and I actually get it this time? Did we just kill? Did we just kill? I think we just killed. We just murdered. We murdered skeletons. I needed that bomb. We are murdering skeletons left and right. I'm not okay with this. Okay, we gotta do this. Ugh, come back. Come back. Oh, he's looking at me. I don't like those looks. I don't like those looks I'm getting. Uh, this is bad. <laughs> I knew something was gonna happen. I didn't think of that. Ugh. No more yeeting on me. All right. Uh, we're going on a magical journey. I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like this. It happened too fast. <laughs> oh. Wow! Okay, I thought I thought this was a pun. I probably don't do this. I don't do this. <laughs> oh, there's a there's a blue platform down there. Hmm. Wait, let's do this. <laughs> ah! Okay, we're gonna do this and then. Ooh! Yeah, all right. Uh, mm, do I hit the top or the bottom? Coin says top, so I'm gonna hit bottom. Shit. <laughs> Shit. I actually might still be able to get past this. No. If, uh, while it's off screen, I can actually potentially get past it, but it's gr the screen's rolled up. Up we go. Okay, what's this nonsense? This is... I don't think I do anything in that left area. I definitely don't want to hit that. Oh, we have to hit that. They're gonna, it's gonna, they're gonna make me hit that. I don't... Come on. In what world does hitting this ever result in winning? No! No! <laughs> oh my gosh! I was so scared of it! I was so scared of it and it just flew away to victory. Also, cyberpunk, blah blah blah. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, dude. Oh, that's why the piranha- Banjo, wait, shit, it goes up, no! Oh my god. New Louis. How does the, <laughs> how do you, oh, the fireballs don't go where I want them to go. How do you do this? Uh, oh, maybe I just damage boost through it. I'd probably just damage boost, boost through it, shit. Okay, we're just gonna damage boost through there. There we go. Oh, there's a checkpoint. I'm sure I'm not gonna be seeing that for a long- Oh, what is that bullshit? What is this? Oh, this looks like super expert garbage. Oh, that was easy. That looked- that looked way worse than it was. <laughs> that, that looked way worse than it was. Let's get wrecked. It doesn't look like I can go up there because I think this thing's gonna be blocked. Oh, I thought there was- I thought there were vines back there, but it wasn't. It was just the piranhas. All right, I think I have to go here. This is weird. This whole room is weird. I definitely don't like the time. So dumb. I am so dumb. <laughs> Brain is like processing. Processing. Oh, I'm dead. I'm fucking dead. <sighs> Do I want to be here? Is this a block? Oh, I thought that was gonna be a Kaiser block. I can't go in that. Let's see what's in here. All right, are we sitting in a box again? Well, we're not dead, so that's good. Proceeding right along. Oh, there is a... Okay, I guess we're gonna hitch a ride on that. Oh, it comes back. Huh. Oh, now we have a P-switch. Oh! <laughs> Wait, that didn't happen the other time! Why didn't that happen? It must be... They must have put another launcher that spawned? <laughs> it must have been a different launcher that spawned or something like that. So how do we not die? 
Maybe I don't go down there at all? Ooh, looks like I go down there. I am very dead. Let's just... I didn't mean to do that. I accidentally... I tried to move my hand and I accidentally hit the button. Okay, I think all we do... Oh, maybe we actually hit that. Wait a minute. Oh! Ooh. I'm good! Maybe I have to hit that red coin on the left. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna try doing... I don't think I should have done that. <laughs> Okay, I think we just do this. Stop being bad. Hit. No! Oh! Mmm! I don't even understand how hitting the piece which makes that happen, though. Okay, let's just fucking take our sweet ass. If another thwomp came down right there, I would have raged. All right. I hope we don't have to get that. We probably don't. I'm not fucking doing that. You can't make me do that shit. I'm not doing it. Fuck that. See, fuck that. That was. Oh, I think I have to do this. Oh, I think I have to do this. Oh! Shit. Man, the oldest- This is- I just got hit with a thwomp and a fish. Is this 2015? Come on. <laughs> um... Oh... Oh, come on. You're punishing me for doing a spring drop? Imagine the red coins are not fake, by the way. Okay. How is this gonna fuck me? What is that? How does it push that? Okay, I guess I'm going in the pipe. <laughs> Can you push that like back the other way for me? That'd be- Pow, this is so weird. Why doesn't it push this one? Oh, because it's a big enemy. This is so weird. <laughs> well, we're boned. Okay. Uh, when we stream Mario Maker 2, what? I mean, I can't- I can never promise a particular time of day, unfortunately. Okay. Getting out of here. We're making progress. Let's go. Uh, 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 scared, scared, scared. How's this- it's gonna- it's not gonna have- I'm in the box! I'm getting out of the box! I'm getting out of the box! No! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, these trolls are really good. These trolls are really good. I'm just sitting there, like, staring at the fact that there's this slow-moving thing. Fucking panicking, like I always do. I'm in a goddamn giant box. Figure it has to be more complicated than it looks. Walk directly into the fucking bomb. Now, how does this not destroy the bomb? How does it not destroy the bomb? That makes no fucking sense. Oh, I just realized I almost broke this one. I think if I had placed the bomb right where Mario is instead of right here. Oh my gosh, I think it would have broken this one too. Holy sh... I don't like that. The fuck was that? That looked bad. I don't want anything to do with that spring. No, no, no! Oh, come on. <laughs> oh. Well, that's gonna get real annoying real fast. What's the plan then? Okay, plan is jump straight up. Now, what do I do here then? Not that. Oh, I probably follow the coin. I can jump out to the right maybe. Yo, honey, Steve-O. I didn't do it right. <laughs> I'm either supposed to go up above the block, or there's another block. But I want to try something. What happens if I do this? Oh. <laughs> That's what this ring's for. That's what happens if I do that. <laughs> oh, I... No! Oh, that's such a troll setup. I think it's this. It's not that. It's this. Okay, but I didn't do it fast enough. All right, we got it. We got it. It will be got next time. Everything is got. There it is. It's it. And I got it. If I die, I'm gonna rage. Okay, whoo! Um, this looks bad. Gotta do something with that. It'd be funny if that did something. I wonder if that would... Huh. All right, well, we have to hit this. Huh. Oh! <laughs> Holy shit. No! Oh! Not 
in the box again. I needed to just hit it, I think. Uh, I think we do, and then we do this. And then we run, and then we run, no! I don't know if I actually go up. No, I don't even, I don't even go up there. I think I just get out of there. Oh my God, I love sushi so much. No, I love sushi so much. Okay, run, no, run, no! Oh my God, that is like one pixel low enough to make you fall into that. How does that even work? Even just the, uh, the things that make it so that you have to like get a, a certain, th this thing doesn't, this is here to make me freak out, run fast, distract, get distracted, and fucking waltz off the edge. And they've, I fucking got played like a goddamn fiddle. Also that neck though, look at that. Yeah, look at that. Oh yeah, look at that seductive neck. Oh yeah. Ugh. <laughs> I'm in a car box, get out. Why am I hitting those? Get out, just get out, just get out. Get out, get out, get out, get out. Ah! <laughs> uh, I think I go hide in the cubby. I think I hide in the cubby. Okay, brave boy. And then somewhat brave boy. And then screwed boy. Oh, I don't even. Is that bad? That might be bad. Is that bad? Do I want the key though? I'm not getting the key. Fuck the key. I'm mad. <laughs> No, please! Don't do it! Don't do it, I'm not hitting it. I don't have to, no, I have! Oh, benevolent level creator. <laughs> Thank you, benevolent level creator. Uh, I think I don't even need to hit that. Oh! I forgot, I forgot, I forgot. Don't do it yet, I forgot. I guess you could probably get it, but well, that wouldn't help, would it? Well, maybe it'd help somewhat. Uh, but, wait, 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 left or right, left or right, it's gotta be right. Oh, I can go both, right? It doesn't matter, I can go both. <sighs> okay, it's risky. Oh, no, no! <laughs> wait, right. Probably don't want to hit these blocks. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna go with the not. But how is this gonna fucking work? That looks like a death box down there. Uh. Oh God. Uh. Oh, I'm scared what's gonna be in this one. <laughs> Yay! All right, what? Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> What the fuck? What the fuck was that? Wait, was I at... Was I at CP2? I, I didn't even remember getting CP2. <laughs> I was like, there's no way that I can get out of this situation. You can't wait for the new sound effects in Mario Maker 2? That's a goddamn lie and you know it. <laughs> that is a goddamn lie and you know it. Dude, but yeah, that stuff in Mario Maker 2 that's like... Oh, you must beat the level while there's a P-Switch active. So imagine they put one P-Switch in it and it's fucking like in the middle of goddamn nowhere and you can easily hit it and then you don't beat it while it's active or like you find the one random magic Koopa that you have to kill that has to turn something into a coin and the only coin in the level is if the magic Koopa turns. Mario Maker 2 is gonna be like absolute trash. What new feature Mario Maker 2 the most excited about? Co-op and on and off blocks. Probably everything, all the stuff that we haven't even imagined yet on top of that. Um, so one of my students is actually working on that project right now. I've been doing more Zika virus stuff. Uh, my partner is an anesthetic nurse. Apparently when removing, oh, when removing cancer in the larynx, which can be caused by HPV, the virus can become airborne. So they use a ton of equipment to remove the air, but still risk exposure work. Holy crap, that's crazy. Yeah, it's like a lot of people thought that HPV mainly caused like STDs and you know, that kind of stuff. But it turns out it causes a bunch of head and neck cancers too, which is another one of the reasons why getting better HPV vaccines is useful. Um, but yeah, uh, the main thing that we need to do right now is move 
is we, we came up with a really cool like vaccine platform in mice, but we need to f basically find a collaborating lab that can test it in something else that's closer to humans that can actually get infected with HPV. Because one of the problems with um, doing science research sometimes is not every virus can, I should pause, not, a, well, whatever, it's fine. Not every virus or bacteria or pathogen in general can infect uh, every animal that you might want to use. So like everybody likes using mice, but HPV doesn't really infect mice very well. Um, and there's a lot of other things that are like that too. So sometimes people will actually like literally genetically modify mice to make them become in able to be infected by something. Like it was like that with polio, for instance, I think. Um, but yeah, so our lab does do that kind of work. So in order to take the vaccine to the next level, we basically need to find another lab that does that and then have them test our vaccine. Uh, in something, in a different animal model. Is there a vaccine for car boxes yet? How was your day? I'm on my day as well. Thank you. All right, what is your favorite virus? HPV is pretty far up there, or pretty high up there. It's actually a really cool virus. Okay, so HPV, like, can attach itself to your chromosomes, and it basically just sits there like a fucking, I don't know, like, stealth assassin just... And whenever your cells divide, it kind of goes along for the ride. It like hitchhikes on your fucking DNA, um, and it uses it. It does that to like maintain a really low level infection, so that it can persist inside of your body for decades. Um, so it can do it can do all sorts of really crazy shit like that. Damn it! <laughs> Five extra chromosomes? Probably not. So you know, you get you get HPV from like having some sort of wound or abrasion or something in like a mucous membrane and getting somebody else who has it too. But yeah, so uh, one, like the, one of the ways that the virus infects is it, you know, it hangs out there for years, but then every now and then it'll like creep up to your outer uh, skin cells and go to town and make like a big infection. Um, and then basically you like slough off virus from that so that, you know, the, the virus can, if, if somebody else, you know, touches that area, then you can get the virus from somebody else. And that just, so like, it like hangs around forever, but then occasionally just like explodes out with more viruses. Why am I dying here? Why, why the hell is this your favorite? Okay, the thing about studying viruses is like, yeah, they're creepy as fuck, but you gotta hand it to them because they're also clever as fuck. I don't know. And then at the end of the day, like, a lot of the crazy shit that viruses do to exploit living things, uh, we as researchers can do, um, we, they're, they're actually opportunities for researchers to do cool things because viruses have invented all of these really awesome ways of doing stuff and we can use those things for something completely different to help people instead of, you know, for stealth assassin viral work. <laughs> Uh, they have they have great potential for when you study them and learn about them to use that information I can literally just throw that I'm dumb. I'm bad. Do have you have you ever played sim ant? 25 years old or something you're, you're like you're literally an ant and you start out outside and you like slowly destroy all the other ants and then you eventually like work your way inside of the house, and I played a ton of Sim. I loved Sim. Man. And you like, like the goal of the game is to like make the humans leave their house. <laughs> Spiders greater than ants. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Did you know ants are incredibly hard coded and can end up in death spirals, walking in circles until death? Or they get the smell of the dead on them. Other ants will move it to the graveyard despite the ant resisting. Whoa. <laughs> Sounds about right. Ants are ants are cool, but ants are creepy. I don't know. They're like one step away from like cyborg doom bots. <laughs> oh man, ants are cool though. I saw once saw a thing where someone like poured a bunch of like concrete down an ant thing, and then they like dug it up so you could see all of the different tunnels. It was crazy. It was humongous. Um, and then there's that uh, fungus that infects and that can infect I think a bunch of insects, including ants, um, that like like fucking mind controls them and they like go they go somewhere else and then they just like turn into a giant fungal spore releasing death thing and 
spread the spores out. And I think I think the ants will like carry those ants and get rid of them too, which is cool. Ants and bees are weird. They share seventy percent of their genes. Yeah, so like even more than their children, they're more genetically interested in caring for the queen's children. That is really interesting. Probably one of the ways that they're able to develop such crazy behaviors. Ants are terrible. There are so many of them though. <laughs> There's an ant parasite that doesn't affect the ant's behavior except instead of sleeping in the hill, they would go out, find a blade of grass, crawl on the top, crawl to the top, and hold itself aloft by biting the top. I think I've seen that. It's crazy. Mm -hmm.